Hello. In this video, you're going to learn how to program the TI Inspire to uh, work with the TI Innovator to blink an LED. And along the way, you'll pick up a few other tricks of the trade. Let's start by uh, pressing the Home On key to bring you to the home screen where you can create a new document. So you can choose from this menu by moving the, by using the arrow keys and pressing enter or you can press the numbers or letters next to the selection. And oftentimes you will have a document that's already in use and you'll be asked to save or not. In this case I'm not going to save it and I'll press no and that brings us to a new document. And when you start a new document you are given a choice of different applications that you can add to the page. In this case, I'm going to start with the program editor. Press that, press enter, new, and then you're brought up with the dialog box and we will select Blink, or we'll call the program Blink. You can call it what you like. And using the arrow keys at the bottom, uh, the alpha keys at the bottom, and you may notice that the keyboard of the Inspire is divided into three parts. The top section is uh, navigation, the center is math entry, and the bottom are alpha. So I'll press enter to respond to this dialog box, and now I have a program. Uh, here's the program editor. So now I use the down arrow to move into the body of the program, and I'll make a few extra enters to create some lines that we may need uh, later in the program. So to start, uh, let's, uh, let's give some TI Innovator commands that will turn on the LED. So when you're in the program editor or in any application in the TI Inspire, press the menu key to see which, me which, items, uh, which menu items are available for that application. They change from application to application depending on what makes sense for that application. And now I'm going to check, choose uh, the, from the hub menu, which goes with the TI Innovator hub, which is number eight. I'm down arrowing uh, this time and I'll press enter. In the future, I'll probably just press the numbers. And then you get another menu under hub and you see this is your top level hub menu and you get some different options. The, the main three that we'll be using here or the main ones we'll be using in this are send set and setting. So here we're gonna choose in this case we'll we'll blink a color LED. Let's let's do color blue. So I'll press that and so now we've selected the object that we're going to uh, uh, make an action with and now we want to turn this on so set color blue what and on is what we want to do so we'll press menu again 8 for hub and this time we'll use settings settings is a valuable menu uh, for for giving attributes to your command so in this case we'll select on and so now we've said we're sending we're going to send this over to the innovator to say set color blue on now it's very important at this point to move your cursor to the right side of the quote uh, before pressing enter. And now what we'll also do before, so we've turned on the blue light or we've sent an instruction that will uh, turn on the blue light. Now let's wait a little bit of time. So again we'll go to the hub menu and we'll select wait and before and we'll say, well, wait how long? Well, let's say two seconds. And then we'll press enter again to make a new command. And then this time we're going to turn the hub, we're going to turn the blue light off. So enter, send set, and blue, color blue. Uh, then we'll do menu, hub, number eight. And then this time we'll do the settings again. And you may have noticed that last time was off see some other interesting things like time and two which you use quite a bit. So off is here, I'll move to the right and again I will do menu, 
pub uh, weight and two and press enter and so here we have a set of commands to uh, that will instruct the TI innovator to turn the blue light on then we'll wait two seconds and then we'll send another command that sends the blue tells the blue light uh, to turn off so now before we can go uh, execute this program we need to uh, save it so again let's check menu and this time we'll look at check syntax and store so number this number two menu and we'll press enter and then again you're prompted and you see check syntax and store so we'll press enter if you notice to the right there there's a shortcut control B which is very handy uh, when you start doing this a lot and so you see at the top it says the program blink is stored successfully so now let's run the program so to run the program you uh, you actually do that from the calculator application so let's make a new page where we'll put the calculator application so to make a new page we will do control and then the doc key which you see has in blue the plus page so when you press control which is blue then the blue uh, uh, functions on the keys become active so now we've made a new page uh, which is 1.2 so we have 1.2 and 1.1 as our pages and the top one is add calculator so we'll do that and it looks blank but let's just kind of prove that it's a calculator by making a quick calculation and there you go we prove that you can do some math here so if you want to find your programs uh, you actually can use the var variable menu VAR here and I'll press that and so then you get a choice of the uh, variables that are in your uh, document and in this case we just have one which is blink so we'll select that so now that pastes it and uh, anytime you have uh, a, uh, a command on the calculator screen on the calculator application you press enter and to execute that so now we're going to execute and it's going to execute those commands and so now you see you get a while it's going through the process, you get a uh, busy indicator, and now it's done. So we've done kind of a one-time uh, uh, blink, and now let's, uh, what if we wanted to edit and maybe repeat that maybe five times or something like that. So let's go back to our uh, original program, which is on page 1.1. So there's a couple ways to do that. One uh, way to, uh, Go page to page is to press control left or control right, control left. Another thing that you can do is use the pointer on the touchpad and move up to your uh, move up to the page and then press center click and that will do it. Uh, but we want to go back to 1.1. So there we are. So now let's uh, now we want to do a uh, what's a for loop to repeat this and. Uh, a good way to do that on the TI Inspire is to highlight the block that you want to um, uh, enclose in the for loop and uh, and then add the for command and then that can uh, kind of after the fact uh, allow you to to uh, put a set of commands in a loop uh, otherwise uh, if you had kind of plan if you'd known from the beginning what you were doing then you could have used the uh, just the for command and, and type these commands in uh, in between the uh, beginning and end of the loop but in this case since we've already started uh, a set of commands which is kind of common when you're beginning programming uh, we're going to add so the way you highlight uh, a block is to press and hold the shift key and then you use the arrow keys to highlight so here I've highlighted a block of commands uh, now I'm going to press menu and the, the loops like the for loop are under the control menu so number four I'll press enter and then you see four and end four and there you go so what it does is it uh, set that original block of uh, commands into a in, in between the for loop and so now I'm going to give a counter variable uh, I'll just call it C and I'll do one so 
This gives me a uh, uh, what the for loop will do. It will count from 1 to 5, so we'll do this 5 times. The default step is 1. If I wanted to, I could add another comma and a, and a value to change the step. Um, so again, now I'm going to save this. So again, number 2, check and store. And it says save successfully. So now I'm going to do control right and go back over to the calculator page. So in this case, I'm going to press uh, there again, and I'm going to choose the Blink program, and I'm going to press Enter. And now it's going to be busy, and if you remember, it's going to do that five times, so it'll take uh, 15 or 20 seconds. The other thing uh, to keep in mind when you're looking at the calculator screen is it remembers the last thing that you uh, asked it to execute. So uh, in this case, I really didn't need to go and choose blink from the variable menu. I could have just pressed enter because blink was the last uh, command that I'd asked it to execute. So now it's done, and we have uh, created a blink program. We've edited a blink Blink program. We've uh, done a for loop. And uh, now, uh, one other really important thing is to save. So we've saved the program by using the uh, menu check syntax and store within the document, but we haven't saved the document itself. So we're going to do that by pressing the dot key. And then you see the first selection is file. We're going to do file. And then we'll do save as. And this time I'm going to call this uh, my my programs or my progs or something like that. And I'll save that, pressing enter. And so now all this is is saved. And along the way, I can uh, if I make another change and I want to save it, I can do Control S. And that's a f another fast way to do that. So now you've done, uh, seen kind of the basics of uh, writing a Blink program and picked up some other tips along the way.